Hello world, welcome to NixNexus, the ultimate hub for all things free and open source. Here we deep dive into Linux and the vibrant free and open source community. As this is my first YouTube video, I was thinking what should be my topic. So I decided to share my own journey, a journey from being a long time Windows user to embracing the world of free and open source and finally Linux. As someone who has spent years navigating the digital landscape with a long lineup of a Windows operating system, namely Windows XP, followed by Windows 7 and Windows 10, it is very hard not to reminisce about the familiarity and reliability they offered. However, due to Microsoft's recent decision, the change seemed inevitable. Just like on 10th of May 2021, the tech world received the news that Microsoft would end the support for Windows 10 operating systems from 14th October 2025. It means that after that date, no more security update, bug fixes or technical support would be provided for Windows 10. And Microsoft official stoppage of Windows 10 Home and Pro licenses further emphasized their move towards the new Windows 11 operating system. But here is where the plot thickens. With the announcement of Windows 11, Microsoft also introduced the requirement of TPM version 2.0 chip on our motherboards for the installation of Windows 11. For those not familiar with the term TPM, it actually stands for Trusted Platform Module, an element of ensuring the integrity and security of a computer device. Though after initially claiming that Windows 11 won't work on PCs without TPM version 2.0, Microsoft later confirmed that the operating system actually requires the older but much more common TPM version 1.2 module, which means that now anyone can install Windows 11 on an older hardware by tweaking some registry settings. But they also confirm that if you install Windows 11 on a machine that lacks TPM version 2.0, you will be taking a huge risk because unsupported hardware may cause you to miss out an important security fix or Windows update. So as someone who had been a part of Windows ecosystem for a considerable amount of time, this shift was more than just a technical adjustment. It was a decision that made me reconsider the role of my computing device and how they integrate in my life. You see, I have two old computers and a laptop in my house, but who cares if they are old? They work just fine for me. But the realization that I cannot use my trusted old companions anymore just because they lack the shiny TPM chip sparked a significant decision inside me. Suddenly, Microsoft Corporation became the evil corp of my world, which finally for me resulted in a leap towards open source and Linux. But this change from Windows to Linux did not come to my mind all of a sudden. Let me clarify, I am not new to Linux. I have explored Linux distros in virtual environment for fun in the past as well. And the philosophy behind open source movement always fascinated me. However, my serious consideration for Linux as my primary operating system began in 2021, after my experience at a company where Linux formed the backbone of the entire office ecosystem. I was amazed to see that Linux was very snappy, lightweight compared to any Windows operating system and work very efficiently even in older hardwares. A crucial factor for someone like me who cherishes their old but trusty computers that are working just fine. It might sound that I am against Microsoft Windows or Windows operating systems, but the real fact is that Microsoft themselves do not want us to use their operating system in our older hardwares, whereas Linux is there just ready to roll. So I decided that it's time to change and now I think I have taken a correct decision. So as you people are watching a video about Linux, I hope you all are familiar with it, or at least have heard about Linux. But if you have not, then let me introduce. Linux is a free and open source operating system, meaning its source code is available for anyone to use, modify and distribute. Linux is renowned for its superior security over any Windows operating system. It offers heightened customization and a plethora of free applications. But what sets Linux really apart is the dynamic Linux community, a community which is constantly working to improve the operating system, which make it even better choice for a long run. You see, for me, Linux is not just an alternative. It's a superior choice. 
As a matter of fact, due to its rock-solid stability, Linux dominates the cloud, server, and the supercomputer space. In fact, 97% of the servers and more than 90% of the world's supercomputers operates on Linux. Even Microsoft themselves run their cloud service Azure on Linux. And finally, look at Android, which is also based on Linux kernel, mostly swept the mobile operating system market. And now things are also changing in the desktop sector as well. If you look at the chart shared by StatCounter, you will find that at the start of previous decade, Windows was at the peak of its game, capturing 93.76% of the market share, while desktop Linux held a mere 0.7% market share. However, fast forward to today, things have changed drastically. Linux is at its all-time high market share with 3.21%, I know it's not much compared to other big players, but it is enough to show that people are now understanding the benefits of using Linux and open source software. So, if you are also at the crossroad questioning the future of your computing journey, it's time you consider the Linux path. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below and stay tuned to NixNexus for tips and tutorials for seamlessly transitioning to Linux. We will catch you in the next video. Until then, stay curious and keep learning.